His second question is a very important question, which is, how do we know a scholar from a student of knowledge? And I'm not sure if this is his actual question, because it might be, how do we know that this particular scholar is a trusted scholar? There are so many people around us that have the title of scholars. And we see people rising and falling. We see people, we used to point at them and say, MashaAllah, they are the best of scholars of Islam. There's this and there's that. And SubhanAllah, may Allah keep us all steadfast on the sunnah, on the truth, on the straight path. After a few years, they flip. They change their colors. They change their aqeedah their manhaj, they reject the sunnah. They reject the manhaj of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. So if this is what Dhul Kif's question is about, this is more difficult than the other one. How to differentiate between a scholar and a student of knowledge? A scholar is a category of very few selected people not due to their race, nationality, color, or authority. It is due to their knowledge. So these people are knowledgeable in Arabic and its sciences. They're knowledgeable in Quran and the tafsir and the abrogated from what is not. And they are knowledgeable in hadith and the different sorts of hadiths, the sahih and the da'if, and how authentic and how not authentic, the explanation of scholars about this hadith. They are knowledgeable in fiqh, and they are knowledgeable in usul al-fiqh, among other bits and pieces here and there of knowledge. So these people, this caliber of people, when they have an issue, they give the answer from their knowledge, which is based on the Quran, the Sunnah, with the understanding of the favorite uh, uh, generations, the three favorite ge generations. They do not shoot from the hip. They do not bring something none of the previous predecessors have thought of. Rather, they follow and they give us their ishtihad. These are the scholars. The students of knowledge are greater in number than the scholars. They have bits and pieces of what scholars have, but they don't have the power to come up with an opinion of their own. And they have to select from the opinion of the scholars and tell you that this is the most authentic according to my research. So they bring you the different opinions of scholars and they select one not due to their whims and desires rather to their intellect to their knowledge of the quran and the sunnah and due to their research and they come up with a conclusion so this is how you can differentiate between a scholar a real scholar and a student of knowledge so when people look at me or other da'is and they say oh they are scholars of islam this is wrong we are not scholars of islam we are students of knowledge. We are preachers. We convey to the masses what we've learned from the real scholars and back it, backing it up with the Quran, the Sunnah and explaining it to the masses. This is why they consider us as scholars, but we are not scholars. Now, how to know which one is to be trusted or not? This is a different issue. We have to look at the conduct of the scholar or the student of knowledge. We have to look at those who praised such a scholar or a student of knowledge because appearing on, a, on your TV screens does not make a person a scholar. It makes him a lucky person. He got a chance to come and address you. But you have to scrutinize a person. So if you see someone free mixing with women, flirting with women, listening to music, 
doesn't have a clear path or manhaj when it comes to aqeedah. Everything is okay. It's a cocktail. Let's go ahead and do it. This is not someone you should follow. If you see someone who does not have con consistency. So 10 years ago, he was calling to the madhab of Ahl, manhaj of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah and the aqeedah of a Salaf al Salih, and he flipped. He changed to the dark side, as they say. And he is no longer promoting the manhaj of the Salaf, and he thinks that he is better virgin and more knowledgeable, or he's introducing bid'ah, or he's collaborating with the people of bid'ah. This is someone that you should leave aside. If you see someone who is a super trooper, and he thinks that, no, I am the only one around who's right. Everybody's wrong. This da'i, a'udhu billah, he is not on the man hajj. This da'i is an innovator. This da'i, he is probably from the Hizbis or from this or from, oh, and start labeling people like you have mentioned in your third question, which we will come to. Then again, this is bad news and Allah knows best.